This video was sponsored by Alex Brands. Addie is my girl who loves arts and crafts. So I've been trying to find some unique and fun ways for her to express her creativity during our school week and today I had a really fun idea for her. We're gonna be making some adorable plushes with the Loopies DIY kit. I thought while we are making our adorable little plushes that we would give you a quiz too. What do you think, Addie? We made a pretty big change to our family schedule this year when we started homeschooling Addie and Maya. We're about two months in now, and so far everything is going really well. Seven times four? 28. Four times zero? Zero. Six times three? 18. One of the reasons we're enjoying homeschooling is that it's given us more time and flexibility to explore some of the girls' interests that we just didn't have time to explore back when we had just a super crazy schedule. Both of the girls have been able to start gymnastics classes. Maya, who really loves cooking, has gotten some time in the kitchen to explore with some recipes. And Addie is my girl who loves arts and crafts. So I've been trying to find some unique and fun ways for her to express her creativity during our school week and today I had a really fun idea for her. We're going to be making some adorable plushes with the Loopies DIY kit. Let's see. So Addie, these are Loopies yarn characters where we stuff and fluff to make a plush. So we have a penguin and a lion. Do you want to do the penguin I can tell? Yes. Alright, that means I'm going to make the lion. These kits have everything you need to make the complete project so we're going to go ahead and get them open and get started. So since today is a homeschool day for us and the girls have been taking quizzes today, I thought while we are making our adorable little plushes that we would give you a quiz too. What do you think, Addie? Awesome. <laughs> we went to see how well you know Tic Tac Toy and Addie and Maya and see whether you are a super fan or not. So let's make sure we have everything we need to get going and then we're going to explain how the quiz is going to work. I have my pre-sewn stuffed plush some felt shapes here, super duper soft yarn, a crochet hook in here, and some easy to follow instructions. And how do you have all the gear you need? Check, 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 check. Check, got it all. Step one is pretty easy. <laughs> We're just gonna stuff a bunch of yarn into our mesh form. So you can do that on your penguin. I'm gonna do it on my lion. All right, stuff, stuff, stuff. Now that our mesh forms have been stuffed with yarn, we're gonna quickly explain how our quiz is gonna work. We're gonna ask you how many questions, Addie? 15. 15 questions, multiple choice. At the end, we're gonna see how many you got right, and we're gonna let you know how many you had to get right in order to be considered a Tic Tac Toy super fan. We'll tell you the first question after we start looping. This craft is called loopies because basically all we're going to be doing is using our crochet hook to pull the super soft yarn through the mesh, making a bunch of loops. Okay, I'm gonna move over and pull the next one. This is my second loop, and I'm just gonna keep going. And we don't have to pull one out of every single mesh hole because it'll naturally just fill itself in. So I'm just gonna keep going along the bottom row all the way across, and I'll go up to this next row and keep going until I have the bottom part of the line all fill in. And I think it's time for our first question. Good idea. The very first question is going to be in what state were Addie and Maya born? I'm gonna give you three choices. Is it Arizona, Tennessee, or California? Take your guess now because Addie's about to reveal the answer which is what Addie? Arizona. Arizona. Did you get the first one right? All right, well there are 14 more. If you got that one wrong, it's okay. But now my looping is coming along pretty nicely. I think we need to get Addie's penguin going now. Yay! So Addie has her white yarn and her blue yarn and now she's got to take the felt penguin face and put that on. And then you're just going to start pulling loops through the penguin's face to get it secured. There's your third loop. Yay! loops all around the felt eye so that's securing it to her plush and while she's doing that I think it's time for question number two. And Addie you're gonna love this one. Question number two, when I say it? Where did I get stitches? On my chin, on my head, or on my nose? Hmm, chin, head, or nose. That was a fun day going to the emergency room. Yep. Where do you think it was? My lines come along nicely. And mine's coming along too. Let me see. 
Ooh, yours is looking really good. You've got lots of your loops done, girl. Uh-huh. So now let's tell the answer to the question. Where do you have to get stitches? On my chin. So On if you your get chin. my chin, you're right. Why don't you tell what happened? How did that happen, Addy? Well, I was swinging between two tables in our garage. I fell and busted my chin open. Busted it open. We had to go to the emergency room, get lots of stitches. She cracked a bunch of teeth. Good yours is looking, Addy. Uh -huh, it looks so fluffy so far. It does. She's like a little pro over here. Uh -huh. And I should say that lions and penguins are not the only options for loopies. They also have a unicorn, a panda bear, a kitty, and a dog. Yeah, there's so many fun varieties and they are available at the Walmarts. What do you say we move on to question number, are we in three now? Yes. Question number three. How are you doing so far? Let's see how you do with question number three. What was Maya last year for Halloween? Was she a southern belle, a witch, or a mermaid? I'm just gonna do a few more loops and then we'll tell you the answer. Uh -huh. You get a few more in too, girl. So what's the answer, Addie? Maya was a mermaid last year. She was, but you were the southern belle. Have you figured out your Halloween costume for this year? I don't know. I don't think either of you have decided. What are you weighing or what are you entertaining? Ballerina mm. and Hermione from Harry Potter. Oh, those are good options. Yeah. Addie's looping is going really well and now she's adding some more character details to her penguin. The penguin comes with these cute little shiny feet so I'm gonna go ahead and put those on. They are so cute. I love how shiny they are too. I know, like they're so shimmery. Ooh, shimmery shiny. All right. Gonna loop those right on there. All right, got that loop done. Now moving on to this loop. Oh, there we go. So you've got your first foot on, onto the second one. My lion's coming along well. I almost have the bottom part of him done. So I'm gonna keep looping with my crochet hook. And I think we should go on to question number four now. It is what color are the walls in Addie's room? The options are purple, blue, or pink. Purple, blue, or pink. What do you think it is? And the answer is pink. My walls are pink, Maya's walls are turquoise, and Colin's walls are blue. Now I'm onto the orange yarn. I'm making the mane of the lion. And I'm gonna make these a little bit longer since the lion's mane is usually a little bit longer than the rest of their fur. I think it's time for question five. I do too, and question number five is going to be, what is the name of Addie's friend from Arizona who has appeared in many of our Tic Tac Toy videos? The choices are Grace, Stephanie, or Avery. What do you think it is? A few more loops and we'll tell you the answer. The last loop of my second link. All right, Addie, the answer is? Avery. Avery, we love Avery. She's been in so many of our videos. She's been Addie's like, best friend since you guys were like two months old. Her mom and I met in a mom's club and she's been a really good, good buddy. Time to add the face to my lion. I'm so excited to put this on. My mane is looking really good. And while I'm doing this, I think we should go ahead and move on to question number six. Mm -hmm. In many of our videos on our family vlog channel, the girls have been seen eating and I have been seen baking a special type of muffin that the girls love in our house. We wanna know what type of muffin is it? Are they cinnamon raisin, blueberry, or sweet potato? Think about what your answer is. So what's the answer, Addie? Sweet potato muffins. Sweet potato muffins. They are a family favorite and we make them extra good by putting chocolate, chocolate. chips in them. I can't believe how good your penguin is looking, Addie. She's like a pro over here. It's just that first time doing this too. Yours is getting really filled in well. Uh -huh. It's making me think you need to take like sewing lessons or crocheting lessons or some crafty thing like that. I already know how to sew. Though. You do. She actually sews better than I do. She, if I have something I need sewn, I honestly give it to Addie. She's pretty good. But I think it'd be cool to sew like really cool stuff. Like know how to make clothing and pillows and Ooh, that would be cool. all sorts of neat things like that. 
What do you think, Addy? Oh my goodness, it looks so it's cute. It's looking so cute. I'm gonna move on to the rest of his body now, back to the yellow fur, and then I still have to add the paws. I think it's time for the next question. The next question, what are we on now? Number seven, I think, isn't it? Yeah. So we're about halfway done. Question number seven is what is the name of our dog? Is it Cece, Sandy, or Lulu? She's appeared in a lot of our videos on our vlogs and Tic Tac Toy. Uh -huh. What's the answer? Sandy. Sandy. Hey Sandy, come here. Here is our beloved Sandy. Very huge <laughs> and she jumps up on oh. our counters to yeah. get steal yeah, our food. She's quite naughty. I think Sandy likes our loopies too. Do you like my lion better? Or my penguin Or the penguin better? She said mine. Aww. <laughs> Stuff in some more yellow fabric in and it's time for Lupin again. Now that Sandy has calmed down, we're gonna go on to question number eight. Addie, what is it gonna be? Which is not a Tic Tac Toy series? Okay, your choices are Toy School, Toy Hotel, or Toy Jail. Which is not a Tic Tac Toy series? Well, Addie's arm is going on nicely, or, or I should say your penguin's arm is going on nicely. Yes. <laughs> What's the answer, Addy? Toy Jail. Toy Jail has never been a Tic Tac Toy series. Toy School is one of their favorites. Toy Hotel is one of my favorites, but no Toy Jail, unfortunately. Question number nine is which activity do Addy and Maya both currently take part in? Is it horseback riding, gymnastics, or dance lessons? You know what I just realized? I gave this one away at the beginning of the video. That was a freebie. Gymnastics. <laughs> Otherwise, you could have seen it on Instagram. We posted a few videos of you guys doing some gymnastics moves on Instagram. They've gotten pretty good this year. Now it's time for me to add my feet and my paws. I guess they're both paws up there, it's the lion. Four paws. I'm just gonna pull a loop through there and one more through here. There we go, one paw done. And Addie is almost done. She is beating me, which I can't believe, but I think it's time for question number 10 now. Where did I have my last birthday party? She turned nine years old and was it at a skating rink, a water park, or a pool? It was a fun party. It was our first birthday party for you here in Nashville. <laughs> and where was it, Addie? At the skating rink. At the skating rink. We went to where the um, Predators play, which is our hockey team. Yes. And As a matter of fact, we actually we actually were planning on going where they practice, but the place was closed. We actually went where we where they play. Exactly. And I actually saw a Predators player there. There was there was an actual NHL hockey player practicing while we were there. Pretty neat. You got to skate next to him. Two of my paws are done. I'm gonna add the other two. I'm and Anna is done. Hers looks so good. What a cute little cuddly penguin and I love little penguin feet down there and little tuft of hair up here. You did a good job on that. Now what's your penguin's name? My penguin's name is Waddles. Waddles, I Waddles like that. Waddles the penguin. What should my lion be named? Um, maybe... Leo the lion? Lori. Lori, okay, I'll go with Lori the lion. And you know what, let's move on to question number 11. What is on Maya's bedspread? Unicorns, rainbows, or puppies? And this is kind of a tricky question because one of those is on her old bedspread that she used to have in Arizona, uh -huh. and one of them is on her new bedspread. So should we count both of them? Or? No, I think they gotta get it completely right to win. So, right. so what is it, Eddie? What's on her bedspread now? Right now, it mm -hmm. has rainbows! No! Oh wait, no. <laughs> that was her old bedspread. <laughs> she has unicorns on her bedspread right now. <laughs> So if you said unicorns, not rainbows, you got that one right. But she had rainbows on her own, Ben's fresh. She did. All right, three paws done. Time for the last paw and question number 12. Yes. Are we on 12? All right, what is so it? So which fam? No, which <laughs> what state? Wait, no, what are we saying here? <laughs> which state has our family not traveled to? And together. if you watched our vlogs, you've seen this. Yes, together. So what are our choices? Hawaii. Hawaii. New York. New York. Or California. California. One of those three we have not traveled to together. Yeah. And on a vlog. Yes. What's the answer, Eddie? Hawaii! Hawaii. Do you want to go to Hawaii? 
Yes, but yeah. I've never been to. You've never been to Hawaii. Yeah, I was there when I was like in first grade, but that's that's it. All right, next paws coming through. And I officially have all four cutie patootie paws on my, what do we say it, Lori the lion. Yes, but you forgot. I have to do the ears still. I, have, I didn't forget them, I just haven't gotten there yet. So which one are we gonna make next, Addie? We've done the penguin and the lion. What one do you wanna buy next? The unicorn. I had a feeling you were gonna say that. I think Maya might want to dive in on the unicorn too. To go with her unicorn themed bed spread. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for question 13. Which animal is on our luggage? Not a lion, I'll tell you that. And it's not a penguin, I'll tell you penguin. that. Penguin? I think you meant penguin. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we reveal it? Wait, we didn't give them the choices yet. Oh, whoops. <laughs> hey, puppies, kitties, or llamas. Which one can be found on the girl's luggage? It's a tough one. I know. Tell them. Puppies! Puppies! <laughs> now it's time for your ears. The ears are going on. And then where's my other ear? Here? Okay. And while I put my last ear on, why don't we do question number 14? Do you see it, Addie? Yes. What okay. month is Maya's birthday? The mm. answer. Not the answer. <laughs> the choices. The choices are December, May, or June. I'll tell you, one of them is my birthday month. Mm-hmm. And one of them is Colin's birthday month, too, actually. Oh, yeah. So what's the answer? What's the answer? The answer. Maya's birthday is in? December. Mine is in May and Colin's is in June. in June. So that is 14 questions, which means we only have one, one question, question left. left. Before we show the last question, we have our final cute little products. They turned out adorable. Look at how cute they are, Addie. Can you believe we did this? Yes. Like we did this just today, you and me, adorable little crafts. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm proud of us. Yes. Are you proud of us? Yes. So I just have to say that the instructions were very easy to follow. Addie's nine years old, she did it really well. And it's just a fun way to learn new craft skills. We did something different today that we haven't done in the past. Yeah. And I had a good time doing it. But now it's time for the last question. The last, but not least. <laughs> question, question number 15 to see how well you know tic-tac, oh, tic-tac toy family. All right, what is it, Addie? What is our one and only cousin's name? Mm -hmm. The girls have one cousin. What are the choices, Addie? Layla Jane. Mm hmm. Karen. Mm hmm. And Christina. Mmm. Layla Jane, Karen, or Christina. Which one is it? Okay. What is it? Layla Jane. Layla Jane is their baby cousin's name. It's my sister Karen's daughter. She's been in many of our videos. Yes. You've probably seen her before. She's cute. Yes. <laughs> so now that you've heard all 15 questions, we think you are a real Tic Tac Toy expert, super ultimate fan if you got at least 10 of them correct, because they were tough. So I think if you got 10 of them, you can call them super ultimate Tic Tac Toy fans. What do you think? Yeah. I think so too. We hope you've had fun watching us create our own loopies, and hopefully it's inspired you to create your own little fuzzy friends. They're perfect if you love knitting, crocheting, stuffed animals, or just trying new things. We'll see you guys next time on Tic Tac Toy Family. Give me a lot, my Lori, Lori back, right? Mm -hmm. Lori, or is it Leo? Lori. Is it Leo? Okay, I'm well, I like this one too. Yeah, I want, I'm well, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Tic Tac Toy Family. What do we say? XOXO. XOXO. Bye. 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 This video was sponsored by Alex Brands.